Hello YouTube. Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel Share Knowledge Video Tutorial. In this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS on your web virtual box machine in Windows 10 operating system. Are you curious about Oracle VM virtual box? Let me tell you something about Oracle VM virtual box. VM virtual box is an application software allows to run inside Windows 10 and Mac OS. VirtualBox is a free and open source hosted hypervisor for visualization software that allows you to run multiple guest operating system. Generally, VirtualBox is used by desktop users as a testing and development, development environment. Presently, VirtualBox runs on Windows, Linux, Ubuntu, Mac OS and Solaris. Hosts and supports a large number of guest operating system including but not limited to windows this is a free software to use to install ubuntu lts within the windows 10 okay runtime do you have any error message from virtual box virtualization is disabled in the bios for all cpu smoke the error appears each virtual visualization is not enabled in your computer Okay, many computers have the virtualization disabled by default at the BIOS level and it needs to be enabled to set up a new virtual machine. We you start your PC, go to system BIOS settings, inside the system BIOS configuration tab, check if there is, if there is virtualization technology listed, then go to virtualization technology, enable it. Before this video, I published one video how to fix VM virtual box error. You will get that video link in this video description box below. Make sure your visualization technology enable it. Okay. First of all, you need to download Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS ISO file and Oracle VM virtual box for creating a new Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS VM virtual box machine open a google page go to ubuntu desktop website now you can see this download ubuntu desktop i recommend download the latest lts version of ubuntu 20.04.1 lts aso file for desktop pcs and laptops lts stands for long time support which means of free security and maintenance updates guaranteed Still download this latest Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS ISO file. The file size is 2.6 GB in size. I have already downloaded. You will get this link in this video description. Okay. Next, go to Oracle VM VirtualBox website. Then click on Download VirtualBox 6.1. Then you can see VirtualBox 6.1.1 platform packages. This can be downloaded and installed depending on its system. In this case, my host operating system is Windows 10. I have already installed VirtualBox for Windows hosts. Okay. Go ahead on VirtualBox and open it. This is the basic user interface of VirtualBox, which looks same any operating system. Okay, let's start. Go into the virtual box settings. Go ahead on and click on new button to start create a new Ubuntu 20.0.1 LTS virtual machine. Here type the name Ubuntu 20.04.1 LTS. Then automatically virtual machine will configure the type as Linux and version to Ubuntu 64 bit. Make sure this default settings. Then go to machine folder, default operating system users folder. This is the path all the file will be stored of this virtual machine. Now select the amount of memory RAM size. Recommended memory size is 1 GB. Now in my case I am going to use 2 GB of RAM for smooth inter interaction. Then click on next. Here select create a virtual hard disk, disk now and then click on create hard disk file type 
then choose hard disk file type to VDI and then click on next you can see storage on physical hard disk dynamically dynamically allocated is a default option you don't need change keep it default click on next file location and size you can see this file location and size file location is default operating system users folder now allocate file size of virtual machine i recommend 25 gigabyte and higher than will be is efficient select everything you are done click on create as you can see the left pan showing ubuntu 20.04.1 lts virtual machine on the right pan you can see all the settings of the virtual machine now go ahead on and click on settings icon on the general uh, on the general settings option you will see some options then you select advanced settings tab then click on shared clipboard drop menu select bi-directional and then click on drag and drop drop menu also select bi-directional that will allow you to share your files with your files with your host operating system next select system option and go to right pan click on processor and then select core processor now i'm choosing two core processor based on green signal next click on display option and increase video memory maximum size 128 megabyte and now tick enable 3d acceleration settings for improved graphical experience of virtual machine now select the storage option then you can see under control ide empty option click on empty option then go to right pan click on dvd icon and choose a file disk ubuntu 20.04.1 lts that you have downloaded select and click on ok Conf to confirm the changes click on ok now we have successfully created the virtual machine now you are ready to start ubuntu installation here select ubuntu 20.04.1 lts and click on the start button now you can see the ubuntu installation process copying system file to virtual machine Now you will see this kind of windows here you can choose your favorite language I am choosing English and then click on install Ubuntu then you can see keyboard layout option then choose your favorite keyboard layout and click on continue here you can see updates and other software keep default normal installation and download up updates while installing Ubuntu and also select third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats select all and then click on continue here you can see installation type erase disk and install Ubuntu this is not going to erase anything on your hard disk because we are installing Ubuntu into a virtual machine, virtual box. Select this default option, erase disk and install Ubuntu and then click on continue. And click on continue again. Now set a time zone 
and click on continue now create a user account for start installing ubuntu 20.04.1 given the username and password and then click on continue installation process will take some times depending on your system speeds okay you don't need to do anything until finish the installation okay wait until finish the installation Now done finish the installation then you will see this kind of window installation is complete you need to restart the computer before restarting you need to disable or remove ubuntu iso file go ahead on the virtual box menu bar click on devices then choose optical drives and disabled or remove ubuntu iso file once you done that then click on restart now button after that go ahead on menu bar click on machine and reset your virtual machine to restart your ubuntu okay now operate now now operating system restarting now system asking to login password type the password and then press enter now we are successfully done installing connect your online account click on skip click on next click on next click on next and then click on done then you will be able to see ubuntu 20.04.1 lts desktop now we need to change a display resolution right click on desktop and then click on display settings now you select the resolution and then now, you, now i'm choosing this resolution click on apply click on keep change now done it it's perfect for normal desktop now we need to installing in virtual box guest editions click on the start menu open the terminal by typing to search box in the open terminal window type the command you will get this command in this video description and then press enter and asking the login password and then type the, your password and then press enter wait few seconds now type yes and then press enter wait few seconds now installation finished you are done you can close the terminal okay you can access your host operating system devices to virtual box go ahead on the virtual box menu bar and click on devices and then choose insert guest edition cd image 
now you will see this kind of window and then click on run and type the password you can access all guest additions devices using this same method the system is restarted press return to close this window press enter that's all you are done thanks for watching and supporting if you have any issues comments below i hope you like this video if you like this video make sure hit like and share your contribution is more confidence please don't forget subscribe my channel once again thanks for watching and subscribing see you next video bye take care